Hey what's going on guys and girls, Loon here and welcome back to yet another plugin tutorial. In this tutorial we will be doing an inventory. It's going to be the basic like creating the inventory and obviously the uh, like when you click things in the inventory. And uh, now I've tried to do this tutorial three times. The first time was before my hard drive did corrupt. The second time was when it was like four o'clock in the morning and the tutorial was like twenty minutes long because you know I was trying to like uh, so basically I was like really drowsy and shit so I'm not gonna do well oh, oh, I edit them I'm going to go ahead and do this from the beginning uh, off the top of my head it's not really hard to uh, figure out so it's again a public void now we have to kind of do like some like what we're basically going to call the inventory now I'm just going to call it open GUI uh, and play a P just mainly because like beforehand uh, if we scroll down to our interact event, then at the start it's open GUI. So, you know, I'm just going to go off that. You can always change it, but hey. So, the first thing we're going to have to do is create an inventory. I'm just going to put like uh, nav, inventory nav equals bucket dot create inventory. Now, the owner will be null because we don't really want an owner. And then the size of it, uh, we'll do 27. And then obviously the title, which I believe we. Uh, created a string in our config for this and if I am correct it should be well this would have to be plugin dot get config dot get string and I believe it's in title uh, in fact just to make sure we will go ahead and check um, in title yeah it is okay all right so Obviously, next we're gonna have to go ahead and create an item stack. So the item stack, I'll call is hub equals new item stack, uh, and then the material will be a beacon because I like using beacon as a like hub type of thing. Item mater hub m equals hub dot get item mater hub m dot set display name. I'm just going to go ahead and do like chat color green or something. Uh, chat color green plus hub and then obviously hub dot set item mater um, if I can actually use my arrow keys currently set hub item mater to hub mater or hub m in fact because that's what we called it and then obviously the last thing to do is to set the item so nav dot or not yeah no why the hell do I call it van Wow. Okay. Perhaps more tied today. Nav. And then obviously it'll be nav dot set item. Uh, the item slot that you want. I'm going to do 13 because I know that's halfway. In bucket coding that is. And the thing that I actually want to put there is a hub. So obviously uh, what we call the item stack is what you actually want to want to go ahead and put there. So I'm going to do p dot open inventory and the inventory that we want to open is nav so boom that is that now it's the inventory click event so public <coughs> actually it has to be a at event handler so at event handler public void on in click inventory click event uh, click event in a side of here we're gonna have to do player p equals casting it to a player uh, because e dot get who clicked doesn't or I believe it doesn't always go as go back as a um, to a player so first thing we want to go ahead and do is e dot set cancel to true this will then cancel whatever they try and pick up um, but we need to do an if statement so uh, if you want, you can either just put e dot set cancel to true straight away, or you could just go ahead and um, well, basically e dot set cancel would just not allow anyone to move anything around their inventory. Where if you want to do if p dot get open inventory dot get title is equal to you know, like whatever we actually called the title here. Uh, is equal to that title and uh, do you want to do an and no we'll do it inside so if e dot get current item 
dot uh, actually no just equals null or e dot get current item dot get type dot uh, not dot obviously we need to go ahead and do equals material dot well is as equal to material dot here or if um, if e dot get current item doesn't have item later then it's going to carry on so first off it's going to go ahead and check if the open inventory's title is equal to inventory title then if it is it's going to check if the item is null so if the item is nothing um, or if the item type is material.a so if it's a or if it's basically just no block and if um, or, or if the item has no item later then we just want to go ahead and do e dot set cancelled to true and p dot close inventory and out under here it's either we can do a switch statement or we can do an if statement um, I guess the easiest thing would be a switch statement where it would go switch e dot get current item dot get type it would basically be like this, so it would be case uh, beacon because we did beacon, and then whatever. Obviously, we need to break to break that case. So then you could do that and whatever you want to do, or you could do if dot e got, uh, if e dot get current item dot get type dot uh, is is equal to material dot beacon and e dot get current item. Um, dot has item later. Oh, actually, we could go ahead and get get the item later. Dot um. Dot get display name. Dot equals ignore case. Um, and we could basically check if the item that's in there equals the hub's um, or the item that they clicked equals the hub's name. Um, so yeah. Basically, what this is saying is, um, if the current item that is clicked is a beacon, and the current or oh, any item that was clicked has the display name of trackflow.green dot uh, plus hub exclamation mark, which is what we called this, then it's going to do it. Well, else, if it doesn't have the second part, um, then it it won't do anything basically. So I just want to go ahead and p dot perform command, which would be hub, because yeah. Um, I believe that's how we do perform commands. I kind of forgotten. Um, but yeah. And if you want, you can actually just do e dot set cancelled here. Cancelled true and p dot close inventory. Um, did we wait? There is a command for slash hub in it. I'm sure of it. Just actually, make sure. Yes. So that is that. That should be done now. Um, open inventory, a clip event. Yeah, that should be done because we already did the interact event like in previous episodes. So save. Let's go ahead and go to where we saved it. Uh, desktop. Let's go that. Curb. Launch. Let's actually make sure that we actually have a hub uh, location. Oh, we actually do have a hub location. That was okay. Try and connect. Here we go. Oh, okay. What's happened? Right. Well, we've got our stuff. Uh, if I'm correct, this is something to something totally different. We join SQL. Yeah, this is something to do with MySQL. Never mind. Um, yeah, yeah. I was doing MySQL tutorial then because I don't have my MySQL open. Um. So anyway, this is the magic teleporter that was given to us uh, when we join. Uh, if you right click it. You get this title. Obviously, this says title, whereas it couldn't actually. Uh, oh, as you can see, it says inventory title, um, right here. So if you actually go ahead and change like and B, blah blah blah. Obviously, it needs to be inside of these uh, things. And B. Um, in the and six titles. Uh, then if we were, well, you don't want to do save as you just want to go ahead and save. If you want to do reload right click it as you can see it's got inventory uh, inventory title so if we randomly click something uh that is a okay this didn't work did it yeah that worked 
Wait, can we place? Oh, we can actually place it down. Okay. Okay, so in the get title, we kind of need to uh, go ahead and set it properly. So, yeah. Um, so it would actually help if we did dot equals ignore case inside of that. Because um, otherwise, it was basically like the wrong way of checking. Um, so, yeah, you don't really want to make that mistake because you're like, uh, what? So, anyway, um, as you can see, now if we. Oh, actually, let's go. So, like if we get room, we click something, boom, it just shuts down. Uh, now, if we actually click the hub, we make it perform the slash hub command. So, yeah, that is how you do a inventory. Um, it's pretty simple. Obviously, you can do a lot more things with it. Um, but, yeah, uh, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a rating as it really does help me out. And I hope to see you next time. See you guys.